Alright guys, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tutorial on what to do if you're having fuse problems with your headlights, alright? This is uh, my 2001 Yamaha R1000, super sport, super bike, whatever you want to call it. Um, what I did is I converted to HID headlights, okay? And when I did, it worked perfectly, okay? Yeah, I turned them on, it's not a big deal, I got, the, you know, it came with the little ballast here and the little lights inside. Now when I turned them on, it was no big deal, but when I turned it on with the engine running, it had more voltage, and since the um, since these lights draw so much amperage right when you turn them on for the first time, when the engine was running, it would blow the fuse every time when I turn the headlights on. Oh, by the way, also, since they don't have high beams and low beams, I actually hardwired it into just the high beam. So when the low beams are on, the headlights are off. When I turn the high beams on, then the headlights come on. So I wanted that because it's just a little little bit of an advantage in, in case you're going into a quiet place or something like that or whatever. You don't want to shine lights on somebody. You can turn the headlights off. It's not so. I just thought it would be a nice nice little touch to it. Now what I did here is since it kept blowing the fuse, I thought, well, what could I do? I could have one headlight turn on and then have the other headlight turn on right after that. So what I did is I went on eBay and I found this cool little little guy right here it's a delay switch all right for 12 volt DC applications now this delay switch was about two dollars on eBay now this um, it's not powerful enough to uh, to power the lights themselves so I had to also get an automotive relay 12 volt DC also so what I did is the relay uh, the new HRD lights came with this nice little this nice little cable in between the original the original part here the original adapter to the light and the ballast and I hardwired it right into the ballast it, it's a, it's pretty complicated you can figure it out maybe I ask some questions and I can tell you how I did it but that's what I did so now when I turn the headlights on regardless of whether the motorbike's on or not um, one headlight turns on instantly I'll turn the lights on right now one headlight turns on instantly and then the next one turns on right after that you see how it came on with that with that intense light right there that's that high amperage now it's got a 20 amp um, it's got a 20 amp fuse which blew every time when the engine was running and I turned those lights on so now it's still got a 20 amp fuse in there and it's been perfect for me you can see I'm doing a lot of other improvements to this but this the headlight thing is my biggest accomplishment so far it took a lot of brain power and whatnot and I'll show you once more this is also adjustable so you can adjust the delay on this on this little guy right here. It's got a couple LED lights indicating when it's on and when it's off. And you can see this little um, brass screw right here. Turn it counterclockwise to decrease the the amount of delay. Turn it clockwise to increase the amount of delay. And you got to turn it quite a bit. But that's what I did for this bike. Um, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, maybe I'll make a more detailed video or something like that of the exact position of all of these wires I mean this it's a it's a mess down here but I only had to actually make one soldering connection the rest are the spade connectors and so if you got any questions or anything like that like I said um two dollars on eBay the uh, relay is about five at, at uh either on eBay or at, or at a radio shack or something like that all right guys so that's how you deal with fuse problems on your HRD system if you have two headlights all right thanks very much